So whenever you tell a, tell a story of a bank robber and you show the money, it's glamorous at that moment till the motherfucking cops blow his fucking brains out, right, you know? Right, exactly. So it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a difficult line. What do you right. think, Mel? Well, I, I think like, uh, like when, 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 you're trying to, when you're trying to tell a story and it's, it's from a songwriter's perspective, uh -huh. and this is what I try to relate to people all the time, when you write a song, the basis of songwriting is to write somebody else's song and to tell the story of your time. Now, if you listen to what these cats are doing, and they can say they're telling their own story or whatever it is that they can say they're poets, whatever it is, I'm going to give them that. But if you listen to everything that went on right now, 50 years from now, you wouldn't know it was two wars. You would, barely would know that it's a black president. Mm -hmm. The only thing you would know is they popped a lot of bottles. <laughs> they threw money up in the air, fell down. <laughs> and they bought some nice cars. And my, but my point in saying is that you, at some point, the record industry and the industry as a whole took the process of entertainment out of the hands of the professional and just let, you know, if you just had the average guy walk by, okay, you write a song and he's going to say, I'm hot because I'm fly. You ain't because you not. This is why, this is why, this is why I'm hot. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. But every time... The, 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 it, it just like how Ice G said, we, we had a conversation. I said, what was the last important hip-hop song? What, how long ago did that come out, and what song was that? You can't know. Because we've been bombarded with, you know, you don't let people on the street do nothing except for if they're going to, especially the people that want to be on the street, you don't let them do nothing but just stand there and sell stuff to them because that's all they do. You don't trust them with the whole industry. That's why the industry don't work right now. And you can blame it on the internet. Listen, if you ain't going to write a song that somebody's going to buy, they're just not going to buy it. They taught everybody to be hustlers. So now everything is the hijack. I think when rap went wrong is when Run DMC tried to look like guys in Queens. And you see how we was dressing. We had spandex. We was rock stars. <laughs> I used to be in Dancing Chariot next to Billy Idol. He was on dope. We was sniffing coke. I was a star. When, when they started looking like some guys in Queens, and the only thing I said was, what the fuck they trying to look like them niggas for? <laughs> That's when I knew it was over. Because you can't, talent goes up. You can't get no better than Michael Jackson unless you can be better than Michael Jackson. Oh. But it's easy when talent go down, it's easy to undercut 50 cents. Lower the bar. And, and, and who the hell is Let that me guy? Say this. Let me okay. All right. Uh, bring up. All right. Um, I just wanted to know that um, with, with so many men being affected, and it shows in the panel that it may be a positive thing that came out of it, uh, what is the effect that with so many women being downfalled by the effect of crack and hip-hop, um, I don't see that many women, uh, I, I, don't even, I don't know if how many women came out of it doing the hip hop thing, either before crack or after crack. Well, I saw that they were beaten down and um, I don't see too many being brought out in the well, documentary. I, 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 don't, I don't think as a woman, a, the most popular rapper in the world is supposed to be female, hands down. But it's just that all the female rappers, they act like they dudes for some reason. You know what I mean? It's like they, the same, the same, uh, uh, a uh, uh, speech pattern or the same, you know, dialogue is like the same thing. Like, you know, I'm a sneakers gun in the club. You know, they don't say nothing about, you know, what they would want for their kids growing up. I mean, write a song about when you had your period and you called in sick. I mean, women can relate to shit that women can relate to. And, you know what I mean? But, but they, they don't, they don't do it. They just got, they just got, you know, so caught up in the, in Real the, uh, in the, in, in the, in the street, in the, in the ghetto, in the ghettoization. Of, of, of the art place. form, they can't even speak with their own voice. Like, you know, a woman, you know, a woman, uh, you know, if you talk, like if that same woman to talk to her man, she'll woman up on him. You know, this, I'm a woman, and it, but they never made that song. You never heard that. So you say, oh, yeah, we're going we gonna to get this money, yeah, dude, yeah, baby. <laughs> and, 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 and that's why, you know, that's why it never came. And then, and then on top of that, when it, when it came down to the level of women raising children, they just totally disassociated the thing 
of culture because culture is made by the father, it's not made by the son or the daughter. So when you get a woman and they're going to name a kid, they're not going to name the kid after the father or the mother. They're going to give them a name that only means something to them. And then when that woman has a kid, she's not going to name it after her mother. She's going to name it after some, something that only means something to her, like Alize or, you know, just whatever they think of, whatever's on their mind. You know what I mean? Now, that, that's good for you, but it, number one, that's bad because all the Alizés, they never make it out of the project. They in there screwing drug dealers. And then, and then, and then number two, she'll never, she'll never get, make an attachment with your past because that's what, you know, I mean, from the beginning of time, right in Song of the Grills, you got to you, you, you use music to make an attachment to, to your history and to, uh, to your culture. And, and what hip hop did, it just totally devoided us from culture. Only thing black people think, I'm gonna get this paper, you know, I'm gonna wear these, you know, uh, uh, $900 jeans and the $500 shoes, and then they're gonna say they poor and they sell drugs, but they gotta eat. You know what, <laughs> I, I'm gonna bring it to a close, but I gotta say one thing. I really wish you would make an album talking about everything you just said just now. Yeah, so I would buy that album. I would buy that album. I would buy that album. We did. I would buy that album. <laughs> I, I'm talking about now. No, 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 no. I'm talking about now. I'm talking about now. If you did that now, that would sell, because you're telling the truth. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to give everybody a round of applause. Thank you for coming out. And God bless you. Enjoy your evening.